Okay, this is the uh, engine bay of our totally, totally stock original uh, 1990 uh, K5 Blazer. Uh, this thing has a fuel injected 350 in it. It has the throttle body style, uh, looks like a carburetor but really isn't a fuel injection system on it. It has the cold air intake on it the way it should be. It has power steering, power disc brakes, and factory air conditioning still on it. The jack is still hooked up where it's supposed to be um, on the uh, driver's side inner fender panel. Uh, all the uh, bottles are original. The uh, washer bottle for the windshield is original and so is the overflow for the uh, coolant system. The original radiator is still intact in it. Uh, uh, everything in this vehicle under the hood is original. It's never been bumped. It's never suffered any trauma at all. Uh, the under hood pad is still nice and clean and and, and undisrupted. It's not uh, starting to deteriorate in any way. There's no scale or rust or anything present on the uh, under hood lip there of the, uh, the front part of the hood. Uh, the exhaust system is still original on the engine. It has the cast iron manifold just the way it came from the factory. The downswept type, uh, all the brake lines, the frame in the front, Everything in this engine compartment is as it was in 1990 when it was produced by General Motors. The original style uh, hoses top and bottom. Uh, I can't see the fan. Let me see what the fan is. It does have a clutch fan on it, a uh, nice tight clutch on it yet. Uh, there's, there's nothing out of place on this. It's just the way it was uh, whenever General Motors released it in 1990. Uh, it even has the optional light that you can drag around if you're changing a tire, changing a wheel, you get a flat tire or something. It has a light with the uh, real type extension on it that you can take and uh, uh, use it to look at things in the engine compartment or uh, around the car in case you're changing a wheel or doing something up front, changing a light bulb, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> everything on this thing is really high end, really nice, and it shows originality in every way. Kind of a rare find to, to find something that uh, is this well done uh, in this original style condition. So, um, horsepower wise, I have no idea what this thing makes, but obviously it's enough to push us along for the last uh, how many years. So, uh, all the stickers are even still evident in here in the inner fender panel, uh, your engine uh, designation in the front here, uh, the belt uh, routing. Uh, everything just the way it was from General Motors. There's nothing changed whatsoever in here. No modifications at all. So we're going to go around the rest of it and show you what we can. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And uh, we've had a couple of these in the past, but this is certainly the most dramatic one that we've ever had here. It's a 1990 uh, K5 Blazer. Uh, they're really gaining a lot of popularity right now, especially with the uh, Broncos coming up money-wise and in popularity, first-generation Broncos, and second-generation Broncos are also starting to follow suit now. But these guys have always had some popularity, but now they're really starting to, uh, to jump alive here. So we're going to go over it and show you everything we can as far as defects. I'm going to look for chips, marks, dents, scrapes, uh, anything cosmetic that we can as we walk around here. Panel fitment, and we're going to point out everything we possibly can for you. One thing I can tell you just from the get-go, this is not a standard paint job. Um, I wish we had a lot of our muscle cars that has this quality of finish on it. It's absolutely a show quality paint that someone laid on this vehicle. You can see that the hood fitment clean up to the cowl area and to the front fender on this side is absolute precise. Uh, everything on this thing, the chrome, even on the uh, Chevrolet designated uh, uh, hood ornament here is just as fresh and clean as can be. Same thing down the side here, an eighth of an inch gap, the whole way it transitions to the base of the uh, uh, cowl area in the front of the windshield. And look at the fitment of this hood in the front even. Everything is as it should be. Normally these things through age, this all starts to deteriorate where you see the, uh, the uh, chrome on the front of this uh, grill areas start to deteriorate and uh, get all kind of patina on it and the chrome actually fade off of it. Not the case here. Chevrolet designation on the front. Uh, there's no marks, no chips, no dings whatsoever. Kind of an argent gray uh, finish around the uh, headlights. Just the way it should be. The grill itself is plastic. Um, parking lights. 
Same way, just as nice and clean and clear as you hope to find. Uh, area in front of the uh, grill, the transitions to the front of the bumper. Um, silver, just the way it should be because it matches the center section of the, uh, the vehicle. Chrome on the front of the bumper. There's no marks whatsoever on it. There's no marks on the uh, rump strip in the front. Let me check the rest of it. Absolutely none. Chrome on the front of the bumper. No stone marks, no chips, no dinghies whatsoever from things being thrown up uh, from following vehicles through the years. Front spoiler just the way it should be for this vehicle. It has two tow hooks in the front for whenever you're going to have to pull someone out of a ditch or something with this vehicle. Um, certainly this isn't going to be the one that gets stuck. A very expensive, I don't know what they're actually called, they call them cow catchers. They used to put them on the front of uh, locomotives. But I guess it's actually called a uh, brush guard. Uh, provisions for uh, fog lights right here. You decide you want an auxiliary set of fog lights on it. But a real high end one. I mean the chrome on this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Has some holes here on the side, give it a little bit of a uh, character to it. Uh, fantastic front end, not a single mark, not a chip, not a ding, not a scuff. And the, I can't get up there to run my hands through the center of the hood, but looking across this hood, and it's a good uh, vantage point for me to take a look across it to see any dents or dings or imperfections. There are none. This hood is like a piece of, uh, it looks like you could dive into it almost. It's so wet and, uh, and shiny and deep looking. Definite black paint job that someone did a phenomenal job of putting on. So we'll go down the side of it and see what we can show you there. Okay, this is the driver's side of our K5. Again, look at the paint on this thing. This is totally amazing that someone would spend this much time. And look at the wood fitment to the cowl. Everything on this thing. Look, look at the doors on this. Man, I'm happy when we can get Camaros and Roadrunners and Chevelles to, to have a panel fitment like this and a finish like this. Uh, silver, obviously, through the center. It's got your rub strip on the side. A uh, little flare here. A little bit molding. No dents, no dinghies whatsoever in it. Side marker lamp in the front. No patina at all present on it. And you can tell that this thing had been a complete, complete redo. The paint on this thing is phenomenal. Both the silver and the black. And the uh, stripe was added after it was done, just the way it would have been from the factory. And it is the correct split uh, uh, style stripe that they used from General Motors when the vehicle was new. Uh, correct wiper arms, modern style set of blades on it, uh, set of Anco, uh, better designed blades on it. Sunshade fade windshield in the front, tinted glass, has an awning on it. Um, tinted glass on the side also, the correct uh, swing back mirrors that uh, were great uh, for these vehicles. Uh, what's nice about these is if you're hauling something, you know, they have enough of an uh, offset that you can actually see what's behind you with this vehicle. Uh, also, a little set of awnings over the, uh, the doors on this side, the windows, so you can keep the window cracked if you need be uh, to let it sit. Even if it does rain, it won't get wet, so you can put it down a couple inches and still not worry about uh, getting any water in the vehicle and still have some ventilation through it. Uh, window wipes, whiskers, um, just as fresh and resilient as you'd hope to find. Door handle, the chrome is as deep on it as it is on the front bumper. Again, 1500 K5. Nice fitment of the door, look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, drip rails painted, obviously, the color of the uh, vehicle black on top, the top, top color. And uh, there's no marks whatsoever on it. Nice flare in the back here that keeps all the stones from being thrown up by these tires and, and chipping everything up. Okay, fiberglass. This is fiberglass. Uh, top on it. it has a wing that's on the back here and sliding rear glass. And this is smoke. This isn't tinted. This is actually smoked glass. Uh, now, these would be great for, again, ventilation. You could open this part way with this wing. And uh, even uh, if it were raining and you were driving, you wouldn't be getting water in the vehicle. So it gives you an extra fresh air ventilation system on it. Semi-flat black finish on this uh, cap, and it's just as nice and straight as could possibly be. 
wheel lip molding on this side. Same as it was on the front. Rub strip in the back, no chips, no marks whatsoever. Uh, there's no side marker lamp in the back because the uh, tail light assemblies transition around to the side, so you don't need a, an additional uh, side marker light there for it. Looking down the side of this vehicle, it is laser straight. There is absolutely, and I mean laser straight too, there's no curvatures whatsoever whenever they designed this vehicle. So when you look down at it, right now it has absolutely no doors on it. All I see is black, silver, black. Uh, it's fantastic condition. The paint is show quality on a K5 Blazer. The wheels are the correct style wheels that came on this vehicle in 1990 but they do have a serious uh, set of rubber on them. They're a set of uh, BFG all-terrains and they're 33 by 1250 15. 4x4 designation on the back, uh, automatic hubs in the front the way they came. The wheels have no deterioration whatsoever to them, absolutely none. Now, there's no uh, uh, areas on the wheel where the uh, clear has begun to separate from the aluminum, uh, polished aluminum or machined aluminum finish. There you are, as new as they were in 1990 when they left General Motors. So, let's go out back, maybe there's something for, the, for you there. Okay, rear section of our K5. Uh, again, this is uh, smoked glass, tinted glass, very, very dark glass in the back. Uh, you can see that usually these things have some chip marks from people loading and unloading things in them through the years. This has none. It's just as straight and clean as can be. Our white whiskers, great big one that transitions the whole uh, a rear window of this vehicle just as fresh and nice and clean and resilient and sealing right up to the uh, glass as you could hope to find. The uh, tailgate section of this, look how everything lines up on this thing, it's totally amazing. Again the gaps, see the gaps on each side, as even and as flush as you could ever hope to have anything fit. Panel in the back is just a piece of anodized aluminum. Usually these have some dents in them through the years, someone uh, leaning up against it or uh, something tapping it through the years. This has absolutely none. It's just as laser straight as you'd ever find. I don't see a single deviation. A huge Chevrolet nameplate on the back here. Uh, the silver at the base. Again, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. This panel, usually on these vehicles, uh, you'll see that these things start to deteriorate. There's little paint blisters here and there on them. For whatever reason, whenever Chevy painted them, they didn't take a whole lot of care, apparently, doing this little filler panel. This one has no deterioration whatsoever. It's silver painted, the same color as the uh, inset in the uh, side of this vehicle, and just as fresh as you could hope to find. And the bumper fitment on this is the same way as it was in the front, absolute precise. Absolute precise. And no one's laid anything up against this through the years, no feet up on it, no packages scraping across it. Chrome is just as deep as you'd ever hope to find it. Rub strips have no marks whatsoever on them. Chrome on the back. <laughs> Someone's added a little tiny uh, uh, bullets like to the, uh, the bumper bolts in the back here to give them a little bit of a little character to them. Uh, there's no marks on the back of this at all, absolutely none. And you can see the bumper fitment is just as nice as you'd ever hope to find one. Uh, it is just an exemplary example of a K5 Blazer. The paint on this thing, I wish you could see it because it, it's, it is definitely so nice. It, it, it's a show quality. And whenever you can do this with a black paint and have everything line up the way it does and have no imperfections, I can't find a single... I can't see one and I can't feel any imperfections whatsoever on the front, side, or back so far. Let's do the other side and then uh, you got about a flawless vehicle here. Okay, passenger side, our last side. And judging from the rest of it, I doubt if I'm going to find anything here either. Again, no stone chips, no marks whatsoever. Our gas filler door, original uh, lid on it, um, designation inside the, the lid. The um, the paint on this thing, again, I, I can't overemphasize how nice the finish is on this vehicle. No marks whatsoever on this wheel lip molding. The black is just uh, a foot deep on it. Silver the same way. Uh, no marks at all on the cap area. 
or around the window. You can see the glass itself is just as nice as can be. You've got this wing section here that uh, uh, when you slide the glass open, this thing will give you a little uh, air deflection. Again, the door fitment of this thing. Look at this. That's about as nice a fit as you'd ever hope to find. This, this thing had to have been just cared for uh, like someone would a, a Hemi Cuda or something. It, uh, um, it has its original chrome on it. This isn't re chromed or redone. There's the, you can see the original door handles. Uh, everything on this is just as straight and nice as you'd ever hope to find something. Again, there's no chrome trim or anything around the uh, windows themselves. Everything is uh, black rubber as it is on the front. Also, I forgot to mention, there's no wipes or anything on the uh, uh, window itself showing that uh, um, whoever used this didn't use it in any kind of inclement weather. That had to be used in only nice conditions. Look at this. This is just a crazy for a K5 blazer. Okay, our last uh, wheel lift. Same as the other three, side marker lamp, the patina. And looking down the side of this from front to back, it's the same as looking back to front on the other side. There's not a deviation, not a flaw, not an imperfection in the paint, not an offset to the panels. Uh, correct style antenna for this guy for 1990. I can't find a single thing. It has some type of a uh, suspension lift on it. I'm going to guess it's about a four inch kit, but I really don't know. Uh, we'll get a better idea once we get underneath this vehicle and we'll do a presentation there. Uh, but the entire package on this thing, it's a 1990 K5 Blazer. Uh, and the entire vehicle is absolute show quality. This is something that you can take to any car show and park it next to any vehicle that's there and you'll have the most show quality uh, sport utility vehicle that you'll ever find. There are no imperfections that we could determine in the paint anywhere, and no body flaws, uh, no dinghies, no marks, no chips. Uh, the wheels look like they're absolutely brand new. The 4x4 designation, which is usually uh, faded through the years, is still nice and clean and clear and crisp. All four uh, 1250s are just as fat and deep as they uh, were when they were new. They may, I'm not saying they're brand new, they might have a thousand miles on them, but if they do, that's probably about it. Uh, they are a new set of rubber on this vehicle. It's a fantastic vehicle. It does have documentation. Devin will show it to you. There's an actual window sticker showing the uh, cost and all the options that are on this uh, uh, vehicle from 1990. It's the original one. Uh, it's a very difficult vehicle to find. And these things, like I stated, were starting to really gain in popularity. They, um, they were soft for quite a few years. And so were the old uh, first generation Broncos, 66 to 77. And look what happened to them. And the same thing is following suit with these guys. Uh, a lot of people used them and uh, just overused them, abused them, and discarded them. So the number of these things out there that are still in existence in this condition is going to be so minuscule, it's going to be very difficult to duplicate this. Uh, take a look at this. It's at Hanksters and Daytona Beach. And like all of our vehicles, you know, we want you to come down. We want you to look at everything we have. Uh, Devin and I try to get these videos up as fast and as uh, expedient as we possibly can. But you're going to see 40-some videos on our website. We have 80 cars in the building. So there's probably close to 40 cars that you're not even seeing that are for sale. But we have them. So um, we're trying to keep up, but the problem is we're selling as many as we're doing videos of, and it kind of puts us in a, the same spot. It seems we're stuck right around that 40 number. We're trying as hard as we can. We come in early, we try to get it all done, and try to present these to you as um, well as we possibly can, showing you every little thing that we can on these vehicles. And that's why Devin's going to give you 100 high-resolution photos that you can also study in addition to this uh, video that we're shooting for you. Do yourself a favor. Jump on a bird, come down, take a look at it. But if you can't, that's why we're doing this for you. Take a look at it. It's the Herod Hangsters. Okay, this is the uh, interior of our K5 Blazer 1990. And uh, I defy anybody to find a nicer one than this. This is, this is definitely top of the heap. It's the nicest one as you'll ever find. Headliner, where most of these are all deteriorated and falling down. This is just as nice and fresh as could be. 
sun visors themselves with the additional extensions, just the original ones that came on it, and absolutely no deterioration whatsoever. Day-night mirror in it, uh, no milkiness or fogginess whatsoever on it. Couldn't see the dashboard from outside, but I can from in here, and it's just absolutely flawless. Uh, there are no imperfections in it, no waviness, and no chips whatsoever, no cracks in the, uh, in the vinyl, even around the speaker uh, perforations, there's absolutely none. Trim around the dash itself, uh, brushed aluminum just the way it was from the factory, just as nice as can be, tilt wheel, uh, cruise control, all the controls for your uh, air conditioning and vents, uh, everything just as nice and clean, as fresh as you'd ever hope to find. Uh, it has a speedometer, fuel gauge, a temperature gauge, uh, oil pressure, and amp. So you got all the gauges that you need uh, to determine what's happening with the engine. Power windows, power locks, uh, everything just as fresh and clean on the door panels. Even the carpeting on the bottom isn't scuffed up. Uh, all new rubbers, you can't see them, but the rubbers are nice and fresh and resilient on this vehicle. There are no cracks whatsoever in the steering wheel and the four... Um, whatever you want to call them, spokes that go are still nice and resilient and soft. Wheel itself is still soft, where most of these start to deteriorate, harden and crack. This one is not. It's just as nice and soft and pliable as it was when it was new. Uh, switch for the back window, uh, AM, FM, cassette radio, um, console, center console that uh, has a ton of storage in there. It has a couple cup holders to place for your cell phones. Also a... Um, uh, Storage compartment, dash, original owner's manual still in the uh, dashboard with all the designation uh, uh, for the engine and also all your options listed the way it was from the factory. Light is working also in the uh, glove box. Uh, the uh, dome light is also functional in this. It has a set of high back bucket seats. The interior is original and just as fresh and clean as you'd ever hope to find one. There's no deterioration whatsoever. Uh, back seat, of course, to match, and it folds forward if you need to. Clean up to the back of here, so you have probably about five feet of storage cargo area uh, in the back. You haul just about anything you want except a refrigerator, I guess. Um, <clears throat> geez, uh, seat belts in the back, seat belts in the front. The uh, rest of the dash, the aluminum uh, fascia on it is just as clean and clear as you'd ever hope to find. The, uh, pal, the, the carpeting is the uh, cut pile type of carpeting. It's more of a, a fuzzy type instead of the loop style carpeting that they had. GM floor mess front and rear, uh, the way they would have been from the factory is an option. Uh, and again, both the door panels are just as fresh and clean as you'd ever hope to find. And uh, the armrests themselves are the molded style resilient armrests that came. Map pouch on each side there, uh, passenger and driver side. Uh, for holding things also. Lots of storage area in this guy between this huge, huge uh, storage area here in the center plus the uh, map pockets plus the one in the uh, dash. There's a lot of storage. Not to even mention what's in the back here. Jesus, there's so much area that you I don't even know what you do with all of it. Fantastic vehicle. Uh, originality everywhere. The seats have a nice bounce to them. You had a nice cushion. Uh, nothing has been um, deteriorated through the years. This thing just uh, just ex exudes exudes uh, originality. It um, it's just as uh, fresh a K5 Blazer as you could ever hope to find. It's in a great color combination: uh, onyx black and the silver, quicksilver, I think they call it. It's a uh, great combination. The interior is the same way, you know, black and silver, uh, two tone. Uh, it's available here at Hangsters, and uh, I really can't imagine that there can be another one of this quality uh, out there anywhere. Everything in this vehicle functions as it should, to my knowledge, but we'll find out shortly because we're going to go for a ride and uh, do an undercarriage on it, too, so we'll be able to tell. But take a look at it because this thing is here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach and um, nowhere else. Okay, we are in our 1990 K5 Blazer, a real absolute show vehicle. The paint on this thing's phenomenal, but we're more concerned with the interior. I jump all over the place. Um, amp gauge charging just like it should. Uh, oil pressure showing um, nice and high, just the way it would be. Temperature just starting to come up. We just fired this guy up, so it is just starting to come up. The um, 
Uh, speedometer, I know, I know, is going to work, but we have to go drive it to do that. Almost a half. Well, we are at a half tank of gas. For that's just not any normal for us here at Hangsters to have a half tank. But tilt wheel, you can see it tilt just the way it's supposed to. Uh, turn signal left, beating itself to death over here. Turn signal right, doing the same act over here. Uh, let's see wipers. We have wipers. We have wipers. Wipers doing exactly what they should. Can figure out how to turn them off. I got them on intermittent now. Where the hell is off? I think that's off. Okay. Uh, air conditioning. Let's try air conditioning. And it definitely blows cold. And it starts right off the stick, it's blowing cold in here. Just the way it should. Rear window actuator goes, well, I can't. Window goes up and down just the way it should. Power window this side, up and down. Devon side, up and down. Uh, door locks. Working. Um, let's see what else we have. Radio. I don't know about radios, but we'll, we'll see here. No radio. I mean, it's there, it's just not working. Either that or I don't know. Oh, here. How about power? Let's try power. Well, I guess we got a radio that doesn't function. But we don't do radios and we don't do clocks. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. You can do what you want with them. Most everyone puts their own. About 140 out here right now. It's going to go up to about 160 today. Um, everyone puts their own sound system that they like in the vehicles anyway. So we gave up trying to mess with radios a long time ago. Uh, let's go for a ride and see what this guy runs like. This is a great vehicle. Yeah, I can tell just a little bit here. Look, no hands, down the road, straight. Still no hands. I'm still going down a red straight. It's a nice vehicle. It's a guy behind me, so I can't get on the brakes, no hands, but we'll do it down here by the bank. Uh, but nice steering resolution, especially with these big sneakers on here. Um, this is about as big a set of uh, tires as you could hang on this. You can see that the uh, speedometer is functioning as it should. And um, I'll tell you what, it's pretty close to the correct mile an hour, too. Somebody must have played with the gear on this thing. Uh, it's got more than ample power. It pulls itself really well. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, check this out. Window sticker. And Dev is going to uh, post one on the uh, website so you can look at everything that this car was ordered with when it was new. We have the original, not a copy, the original window sticker that came out of this vehicle. There it is. So you'll be able to see everything that was ordered on this car when it was new. Nice cold air. I'm glad we got something with air for a change. We always do the muscle cars and the, they don't have air. And whenever you're driving in 150 degree temperatures, uh, it's tough to tough to take sometimes. We'll turn this thing around, give it a little shot, and uh, see if these tires hit. They don't hit. Do you believe that? 33 by 1250s, and they do not hit when I just did a tight turn. That was a lock to lock turn there. So, okay, here we go. Give this thing a little, little shot here. Tell you what, there's, there's ample power in this thing. You could probably pull just about anything you want with it, short of an offshore boat. But uh, I wouldn't pick on any Z06s. But I mean, it's a, it's a nice. Uh, it's a nice uh, running, nice smooth shifting, uh, ample power vehicle, especially for the size rubber that's on this thing. If it had a set of 235s on it, this thing would probably cook. Uh, nice straight vehicle. It runs good. It, it, again, I got somebody behind me. I'd love to lay the brakes on with no hands to show you that it stops well. We'll try it up here. But it, uh, it's a nice straight vehicle, it, it, nice steering resolution, there's no shakes, shimmies, squeaks, rattles, absolutely nothing.
it's a car that you can take and uh, drive anywhere you want to go in it. We're still going down the road with no hands, so I mean, that, that, that's just, that says something, especially for a car with 1250s on it. Um, let's try to put our brakes on up here. I'm going to go in the other lane, and then we're going to put the brakes on see if it stops straight. Okay, here we go. Straight as an arrow. Look at that. Complete dead stop and didn't pull. This is a nice vehicle. Um, if you're in the market for a sport utility vehicle, something that you're not going to find two or three or four or ten of in the parking lot, this is your guy. This thing uh, uh, is just gaining in popularity now. We've had a couple of them in the past and had absolutely no problem whatsoever in selling them. These and the, the second generation Broncos, you know, the, the 70s Broncos, the late 70s, early 80s, uh, they seem like they have a, a following now. Nice vehicle. Uh, honestly, uh, you just watch me drive it, go around the whole vehicle. Uh, we did everything that we could to show you absolutely every aspect of this vehicle. Uh, and again, we encourage everybody to come down and look at them in person. That way you know exactly what you're getting. You can drive it, put it up on a rack like we did. You can spend all afternoon with it if you want. And uh, that way you know exactly what your money's buying for you. But if you can't, that's why we're doing this. And we're trying to do it as as uh, efficiently and, and as thoroughly as we possibly can. And with Devin's 100 photos, or awful close, that he uh, puts up with every vehicle, you should have a pretty good indication of what you're looking at. Um, most of the people don't come and, and drive the vehicles. The majority of them just buy them from the videos and the uh, uh, still pictures. You're going to see everything in them that you are going to see when you come down. But we still encourage you to come down. We'd like to meet you and show you our entire inventory. Because you might come down to buy this and end up with a Hemi Roadrunner. Who knows? Take a look at it here at Hangsters. Okay, this is the uh, undercarriage of our uh, only K5 Blazer that we have. 1990. Uh, really exemplary vehicle. Uh, this four-wheel drive, obviously. It's got a differential on the front. It's got the heavy-duty spring system that they offered. Steering stabilizer bar on it. Uh, and a shock. Steering stabilizer shock. Uh, you can see the uh, auxiliary tow hooks also in the front behind the spoiler. None of this has been disrupted. The frame section is an entire perimeter seat channel frame that uh, should be incorporated with these vehicles. Heavy duty set of shocks in the front, disc brakes in the front. Uh, the rotors, I really can't see, but they, yeah, I can see them. They're a nice fresh looking set of rotors, original calipers that uh, are on it. The, um, the frame itself has absolutely no scale whatsoever. Actually, if you look at this, it appears to have been uh, rust-proof when it was new. It has that waxy type, a little bit of a thicker material on it. It's not a deep undercoating. It's like a, you can scrape it off with your fingernail. But it's a waxy type finish that was probably installed when this vehicle was new, and that's why it's in the condition it is today. Big, heavy uh, sway bar in the front. Uh, you can see there's no leaks whatsoever on the 350 Chevy motor that's in this guy or the bell housing area. Conventional starter in it, not a gear reduction starter. 700 R4 tranny also with no leaks whatsoever. The, um, the whole drive line in this thing, from what I can see, is just totally uh, leak free. There's absolutely nothing. Uh, of course, the transmission goes on to a transfer case and then a tail shaft out of that, and there's no leaks whatsoever on the transfer case. 700 R4. Bell housing area, rear main, uh, 350 Chevy, uh, fuel injected uh, engine, everything leak free. Rear differential, same way. Um, and this frame, I, 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 you have to look at the uh, video that, uh, or the uh, still pictures that Devin's going to show you on this frame because it is absolutely like it was when it was new. Floorboards, the same way. They still have that type of uh, waxy uh, finish to them that uh, someone has installed when it was new, and uh, there's absolutely no deterioration whatsoever. Uh, AC Delco original catalytic converter still in place on the vehicle. These uh, pipes, are, it's a wide pipe that comes off the standard cast iron manifolds. I'm going to call them two-inch primary pipes going into a uh, three-inch transitional pipe that goes into the catalytic converter and also three-inch out. Uh, again, the dry shaft area. Uh, no leaks whatsoever. You can see it's just as fresh and clean as can be. New U joint in the front, new U joint in the back. Parking brake still holds up and functional. The, uh, I have no idea where the brake lines are. Got to be here somewhere. 
sure they're brakes on it somewhere. Uh, I can't see them, but they're probably tucked into the frame somewhere. Right? There they are. There's the fuel lines and the brake lines going back that way toward the uh, rear of the vehicle. Uh, the under chassis muffler, just the way it would have been for General Motors in uh, 1990. So this exhaust system is a a uh, EPA compliant system that if someone would buy this, even if it were California or something, uh, this vehicle would uh, adhere to all the uh, uh, EPA regulations that they have today uh, for smog emission. The uh, springs in the back, again, have a nice curvature to them, uh, no deterioration whatsoever. Heavy duty, uh, there'll be a 10 bolt uh, rear end that uh, should be installed on these vehicles. A huge set of gas shocks in the back of this thing. Also, that's what's in the front, too, their gas shocks, and they're really heavy duty, real heavy set. The uh, exhaust system has a three inch going out, also, a single exhaust, but it is a three inch, and it's the way it would have come from General Motors in 1990. Looking up into the fender well, just as clean and fresh as you'd ever hope to find. Drum brakes in the back, a huge set of uh, ventilated uh, uh, drums in the back of this guy. And again, the parking brake assembly, you can see, hooked up and functional. No leaks on the uh, the yoke area or the uh, rear of the, uh, the differential here. Original gas tank, there's no dents, marks, scuffs, scratches, nothing whatsoever on it, absolutely nothing. And looking up into the fender wells and in your uh, quarter panels, there is absolutely no deterioration. It's just as it was when it was new. Again, I have to attribute that to the, uh, to the fact that somebody had this thing uh, rust-proof to undercoat whenever it was new. I really can't see anything just looking at it where there's any deterioration whatsoever. <coughs> Inside the back bumper where your, um, your C-frame goes back to the uh, rear of the car, uh, everything is nice and clean. Your spring shackles in the back, which usually have some deterioration, there is absolutely none on this, absolutely none. So the undercarriage of this car is as fresh and clean as you'd ever hope to find. still retains its original sound. Uh, Nuts out that they're uh, undercoating that uh, was installed apparently when this vehicle was a new vehicle. This is nice and uh, straight as you ever hope to find one. Uh, absolutely no leaks whatsoever on the drive line. At least at this point, there are none. And it appears that it hasn't been, it hasn't been leaking for a long time. Uh, don't appear to ever leak, to be honest. It's a great undercarriage of a vehicle. It's a very uh, odd vehicle. It's hard to find these things. They're just not out there, especially in this condition. This thing is an absolute show quality paint fit finish on top. It's just absolutely as nice as you'll ever find one. And you have originality clean down to the exhaust system on the undercarriage of this vehicle. So take a look at it. It's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And you'll see a slew of pictures Devin's going to put up for you on this thing so that you can examine it to the nth degree.